This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. Food research shows that starting your day with a healthy breakfast will aid weight loss goals by curbing mid-afternoon snack attacks and binge eating. But you have to make sure that you're making the right choices when it comes to those breakfast foods. To learn more about which foods to avoid, we have Dr. Trish Sexton, Associate Dean for Curriculum for the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine here this morning to break it down for us. So we know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but sometimes people tend to make the bad choices when it comes to those foods because either they're busy, they're on the go, they just don't have time, or it just might be a little bit more convenient for them. Absolutely. So uh, some of these actually surprised me on the list, so we're going to kind of go through them, and some of them are obviously self-explanatory, like sugary cereal. We should be avoiding that and kind of substituting something else for it, correct? Right. You know, um, there are a lot of sugary cereals on the market. Mm -hmm. um, if you think about it in the supermarket, the ones with the most sugar are right at eye level. Mm -hmm. You need to kind of look above and below. Mm -hmm. um, but there are a lot of great cereals that that are not sugary, mm -hmm. that are good for you, mm -hmm. you know, that can be part of a really healthy diet and start your day off right as okay. well. Perfect. Now let's talk about waffles. They're so easy, but they're yeah. not so good on the waistline. They're just pure carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. So that's going to give you a little quick energy, mm -hmm. but probably uh, half an hour, an hour later, you're going to feel kind of sluggish mm -hmm. and you'll crash later in mm -hmm. the day if that's what you've got in, you know, in you really want to look more for protein, some mm -hmm. lean protein. Eggs are a gr good source. If you're watching your cholesterol, you know you can get the egg whites. Mm -hmm. um, it probably doesn't take any longer to microwave or stir up some egg whites uh, as it does to, to Pop cook a, a waffle. Yeah, put it yeah. in the toaster. Now this is really surprising because we know that, you know, vitamin C and everything, orange juice. Right. And that's not, so orange juice is, we can't, you know, vilify that. Yeah. Um, not all orange juice is bad. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's truly fresh squeezed, 100% juice, mm -hmm. that's probably a good choice. There's a lot of vitamin C and although there is some sugar in it, it's, it's fruit sugar. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to avoid uh, any of the juices that have added sugar mm -hmm. or if they say, you know, 50% juice mm -hmm. from concentrate, that means the rest of it's something else. Mm -hmm. So you might want to really look at the labels. Right. Now they make a lot of vegetable blend juices. Mm -hmm. Those can be a good source of nutrients, mm -hmm. but again, make sure there's not a bunch of added sugar that mm -hmm. you're really getting the juice and not yeah. water and sugar. And also it's important to keep that in mind when it comes to our kids and the juice that Absolutely. we're giving them in the morning time or even with their lunches as Absolutely. well. Now bagel and cream cheese, this is one of my favorites, yeah. but it's a big no-no. It is. <laughs> you know, people do love bagels and, and they will kind of get you going. Mm -hmm. um, but if you think about the bagel, you know, it's, it's bread. Mm -hmm. If you're eating white bagel, it's white bread. Mm -hmm. And this is equivalent to like four slices of white bread. Wow. Um, so again, Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to get you started. You're going to feel full for a little while, and then you're going to feel really crummy in mm -hmm. just a short time later. So again, you know, you might want to think about some lean protein like turkey bacon mm -hmm. or something like that. Okay. Um, can just kind of stay with you longer, sustain you, mm -hmm. and not have those highs and lows of your blood sugar. Okay. And uh, pre-mixed oatmeal. Yeah, that's a bad one. Okay. So the, the little oatmeal packets are really convenient. Mm -hmm. Pour them in, microwave them give them to your kids, eat it on the run. Mm -hmm. um, but there's not that much oatmeal in there. That's true. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar and mm -hmm. flavoring. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, it doesn't take too much longer to just make some real oatmeal. Mm -hmm. And you control if you want to put sugar or mm -hmm. salt, whatever you like, but you're in control of what mm -hmm. you put on it. And you'll save a lot of money oh, also. Yeah. And then this, you can also customize it. So you could add right. your fruit in there if you want, like your berries right. or anything, or even your nuts in there. I know a lot sure, of people like walnuts sure. or anything like that. So that's a, that's a good thing. And like you said, it, it takes the same amount of time exactly. than with those packets. So now toaster pastries, it's so easy to get one yeah. of those pop tarts or something like that, mm. but that's really, there's no nutrition there. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll, they'll put on the, on the labels that there's, you know, real fruit, mm -hmm. but if you really read the label, there's <laughs> almost no real fruit. There's like fruit flavoring. Mm -hmm. And again, a quick rush, a lot of sugar, a lot of carb, a lot of fat, mm -hmm. and really no value. Right. And finally, flavored yogurt. Yeah. It sounds delicious, but not so much. I brought a, um, <laughs> an awful looking yogurt today. Uh -huh. um, they have a lot of these mm -hmm. and, you know, people think yogurt, well, that must be good for me. Mm -hmm. So any kind of yogurt must be good for me. Um, some of these are high calorie, high fat, mm -hmm. and high sugar, 
and again you'll have that high and low you know instead get some greek yogurt that's plain mm -hmm. Um, a little higher protein in the mm -hmm. Greek yogurt and add, like you said before, with the oatmeal, add your own flavorings, mm -hmm. add some blueberries, add some nuts, and uh, you'll get the same flavor, you'll mm -hmm. get the same uh, feeling, mm -hmm. but you'll be in control of what you're eating. All right, perfect. And of course, they always say that breakfast is the most important meal, so make sure it's the most imp one of the most important decisions you make when you first wake That's up right. by going with the healthy versions yep. as opposed to the more convenient ones. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Sexton. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at ktbo.com, and we'll link up your information as well if they have any questions or concerns. So thanks again for that. Thank you. And we'll be right back.